Folks, I have just bought one of these Lexar 64 gig, uh, 633 times uh, USB super speed, it says, or super speed USB 3.0 cards. Yeah, I bought this in anticipation of my new GoPro Hero 4. So why did I choose this one? It says 95 megs per second, which I don't know if that's true or not. We're getting ready to test that, though. I'm going to run a little series of tests here. I'm going to uh, post them so you can see how it works. Well, I saw this one, the 32 gig version of it, uh, at the bottom of the page as an add-on for the GoPro Hero 4. So the Hero 4 has not come out yet. Today is October 2nd. It comes out October 5th, 2014. You can see this is a Class 10. It says it's Sport Mobile, and it says that it works for sports, camcorders. It actually shows a little GoPro, GoPro-ish type thing here. Digital camera, smartphones, etc., etc. It comes with a nice little... Uh, plug-in thing I guess it is USB does it have the blue in it it does so USB 3 USB 3 not 2 high performance haute performance okay so there we go performance how will you say that and here we go this is what it says on the back premium memory solution for sports camcorders captures stores and plays back media files including 1080p full HD 3d and 4k video well we'll see so this may be a totally new one. It says uh, Sport Mobile Micro SDXCUHS-1. So let's go ahead and put this thing through some paces and see exactly what it will do. Now, I don't have a Hero 4 with me right now. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this in a computer. I'm going to write, write some 2 gig files to it. So I'm going to do a 300 time card like what I have in my GoPro Hero 3 right now. And then I'm going to do this one. Let's see just how much faster it writes. Okay, so what I've got here, I've, uh, this is actually uh, the card, uh, not not the, the new card, but an old card. This is a Transcend 64 gigabyte premium 300 times SDXC1 class 10 card. Okay, so now that I got it out of the way, let's see how fast. I've actually got a 4.6 gig file, and I'm just going to pull it over here. Is this 4.6 gigs? And let's see how long it takes to copy this file onto this uh, Premium 300X SDXC by Transcend. Okay, one thing I do want to say is that I am using the adapter that came with the Lexar, and I am going into a USB 3 port right now. So what is being written from a uh, from a optical hard drive? Uh, to the, the 300 times transcend card is uh, is a file connected through the Lexar adapter into a USB 3. Okay, so I did have the transcend in this USB 3 adapter. You can see the little blue thing there, which means it is USB 3. So now we're going to put the Lexar 633 times in. Let's see if that same file, how fast it will record that. So here we are. That popped right up easy when I stuck that in there. Let's open it up and look at it. We see it's totally empty. Let's take that same file and throw it in here and see how long it takes to copy it. Okay. Looks fairly promising. Looks like it's going up pretty quick. Wow. Okay, so of course I'm not going into a GoPro Hero 4 right now. I'm just watching it copy onto um, with a computer. But if it will handle it coming off this optical drive, then it would handle it doing the 4K at 30 frames per second, wouldn't it? Off the GoPro Hero 3. Looks like it's reading pretty fast. GoPro Hero 4, rather. Excuse me. I got the Hero 3 on my mind because I'm so used to saying that. But so the Hero 4 is coming out. It looks like this is easily twice as fast as the other one. We'll see exactly how long it takes to write this big file to it. The 4.6 uh, gigs up here is, you know, more than what you're going to get probably onto a DVD. So there you go. That's like two hours of standard quality video. I'll have to say I've been somewhat concerned about this whole notion of how are you going to record so fast? Uh, what kind of media are you going to have to have with that Hero 4? Uh, 2.7K at 50 frames per second, or I guess 48, whatever it's going to be, 975, whatever that is. And then uh, I'm actually more, more you know, interested in the 2.7K. I love shooting in that size. But then 4K at 30, I wondered what kind of speed are we going to have to have. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this into Premiere. I'm going to see exactly how long it took to do this, to uh, do these pieces of video. 
Okay, folks, so now I have brought the video into Adobe Premiere and I've actually clipped both these pieces of video to show. This is the 300 time that I've been using for a long time with my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. And so that 4.6, whatever it was, gig file uh, took, let's see, how, what, did, what, did, what did we get to here? Let's go back to the last edit point. So it took 3 minutes, 45 seconds, and 12 frames, so about about three minutes and 46 seconds close to it to get that video that video copied over to the the um, transcend 300 times card so 345 12 is what we're looking at here let's pull it aside let's see how long it took this one this is what the lexar was so you can see here you can see that i drop it on there and here's where it goes through every bit of that and we get to the very end and that's the last frame that it uh, took to get it to go so we're gonna go back to that. And it was one minute, 49 seconds and 20 frames. So wow, much, much faster. That's very quick. 4.6 plus gigs uh, in one minute and 49 seconds. I think that probably will handle the uh, 4K video that I'm gonna be throwing at it. I'll try to do the math and see how many uh, megs per second that is actually right time. So that is th via USB 3, the Lexar 633 time, uh, you know, micro SD card that is on the GoPro page right now. I bought mine through Amazon. I think it was about 64 bucks or something, 63 bucks. I can't remember. I'll try to put a link to it in the description of this video. Hope this has helped, folks. I think it'll end up being a very good card for the GoPro Hero 4. Peace.